And next, we have Edge of the Abyss Respawn Trials, book number one, written by Andre Levadny. Uh, this is 368 pages, $3.99 that is available on Kindle Unlimited, and here's the author's description. He'd thought that he'd always experience everything that a normal life had to offer. He'd thought he could clearly see what his future holds. That a sudden phone call changed everything. The Edge of the Abyss was the first full-scale virtual reality where he was asked to complete a simple task, and which turned out to be far from, from heaven. He found himself in a terrifyingly realistic digital world whose rules he didn't know. Seemingly, simple tasks suddenly required him to make moral choices, while refusing to do them could take him to places where the barrage of response could send one mad. So there we go. That's actually a really vague... <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, that's like a really vague description of the novel. <laughs> and I mean, it's, it's accurate. Um, I don't think that it does a good job of describing the storyline at all. Um, full disclosure, I received a advanced copy of a review. I purchased a copy when it became available. That seems to be a theme for the episode. Um, but again, this is uh, 368 pages, $3.99 of people become limited. Um, the main character, you know, I'm, I'm going to give a shot of <laughs> giving a novel description here. Let's, let's, let's tell a little bit of the story. Um, the main character is just a guy trying to help out his nephew by taking over his virtual side job in an MMO called Edge of the Abyss. There are clear rules given to the main character don't accept quest. Don't change the character and don't level up past level 10. But things never go as planned, and the main character gets caught up in a series of personal quests that take him across the game world into places players have not ventured since the last cyber war. There, he will discover just how engaging VR can be and our virtual, how virtual conflicts can spill out into the real world. There you go. That's my attempt at a blurb. Um, this novel is from the author of the Nero and the Phantom Service series. So if you actually, if you like those novels already, you're probably going to like this one as well. It is a different bit of a departure from the sci-fi aspects of those stories. Um, this one's more of a slice of life fantasy VR MMO, the little pretty story. Um, but it's still just as well written. It has this similar depth of game mechanics, depth of lore, and depth of world building in the story that those other stories have. So there's still the good writing that you would expect from the author. Um, and I was personally um, surprised at just how well the real life storyline portion of the story was written. Then I remembered, oh, it's it's Andre Levini. Of course, it's going to be good. Um, and I stopped being surprised. Still, um, the game stuff is pretty much slice of life. With the clear introduction of the game mechanics um, by the main characters, like um, opening experiences. Um, but there's still lots of action and adventure in the show, even though it is a slice of life. The main character fails and learns all along the way, through, but through endurance and perseverance, he grows in power, which is always a good um, power curve in these kind of stories. Um, there's not a set plot necessarily, but a, a well strung together chain quest series um, that remains interesting the entire story. I was like, I really finished most of this novel in one sitting because it was just super engaging and like the main character i like the world building and again i was kind of surprised that how much of the real world was actually important to the story like the main character uh, the author i should say does a really good job um in his series of like making real world stuff um impactful to the game world and vice versa of course um and he definitely brings that to this to this novel as well so for me how you get time with it gets a score 7.7 7 out of 10 that's the edge of the abyss respawn trials book number one um with the score 7.7 7 out of 10 how do you get time